The next time you're on an airplane waiting for people to board, think about this. The human body has more than 7,500 named parts. Now you're probably wondering if your doctor knows how to fix them all, right? Now think about this. There are millions of parts to an airplane, one of the larger ones. And when planes need to be fixed, they go to airplane technicians. This week's Do My Job. Power transfer unit, normal. All right. <laughs> I'm not used to that. Okay, go ahead, Joe. Pull that right, pin. Here we go. Take the millions of parts of an airplane, including the pins, throw in thousands of man hours, and you'll basically be doing the job of an airplane technician. And as I found out, a job like this is much more complicated than just changing the oil and filling it up with gas. Aircraft inspections are set up you know, like pretty much by hours and days. So right. after it flies so many hours, it has to have this inspection. So many more hours, it has to have maybe a gotcha. larger inspection. They're constantly being inspected though, more often than you think. Show me how much paperwork goes into just one inspection of an airplane, like like the stack. Well, if we it, just to give you a general you, realization, you up. Uh, we have we have our boxes that are in our control booths right there. But if I had to stack, we we're probably we we're probably somewhere around this area. Now I didn't have the thousands of man hours these guys have to inspect a plane, but I was able to check out how some of the pieces I was familiar with worked. You hear that clicking? I hear the clicking. Yeah. So that you want the blades to float in there and these are numbered because they were taken out and lubed. We take the blades out, lube them, put them back in. Wow, really? And so that uh, so that you'll hear that floating so they, they don't become stiff. And just like an engine depends on smooth running blades, you, the passenger, depend on people who handle your luggage and where they put it. Well, the baggage handlers take it and put it on one of those great ramp trucks that brings right. it up to the uh, cargo pit. And that's where we're sitting, right up here. This is it, the pit. This is the pit. This is where your luggage goes. This is where your dog goes. This is where your mother-in-law goes. And then when you lose the luggage, it's the pits. It is the so pit. So it kind of makes sense. You got it. From items on the checklist that were a little easier than some. I'm grabbing this. Yep. Trying not to fall. Exactly. Push this button. Unlocks the door. Right. And then grab the handle. Pull that closed. Pull down on the right hand. Watch the feet. I almost got him trampled. That's it. And you're in. To more sweat-worthy jobs, like emptying an entire inside of a plane. What's the hardest part about putting, putting the seats in? I would have to say uh, carrying them. <laughs> carrying them. That makes sense. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I want to do that job. What didn't make sense was the fact that I never really appreciated the number of steps airline technicians go through in order to make sure my safety is the number one priority. It's a job I'll always remember, especially the next time I fly.